Welcome to today's video on what's wrong. I will present you a code that is not working or following the best practice and you need to figure out what's wrong. Before we continue, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, that way you never miss a future notification. Let me switch to today's question. In today's video, we have the villa class here and I have added a villa controller where we are performing the CRUD operation. What I want you guys to focus on is the post endpoint when we will update a villa. I want you guys to tell me on where it might throw an exception and if it does, how do we solve that? I hope you were able to figure that out. Let me run the application and show you what will throw an exception. Let me go to villa here and I will try to edit any of the villa here. Add the keyword special inside there because if you notice we have an if condition. If I save it here, it throws an exception. I want you guys to tell me now on why this exception is being thrown and how can I solve that? It is a common exception with Entity Framework Core when you will notice that Villa cannot be tracked because another instance with the same key value is already being tracked. Now the reason behind that is if you notice here, we have a Villa that we receive in the parameter. If that contains the word special here, we are going to database, retrieving that Villa from DB and then we are keeping the description same. What happens is when Entity Framework Core retrieves any data, it by default tracks that data. When you call the update here, you are passing the same Villa ID. At that point, it is throwing an exception that, hey, on line 80, we are already tracking that Villa, but you are not updating that. You want to track a new Villa with the same ID, and then you are updating that in the database. Something does not add up. Entity Framework Core at that point throws an exception. Now do we really want to track the data that we retrieved from the database on line 80? We do not, because we are only retrieving that and then we are actually updating the villa. So we don't care if Entity Framework Code does not track the record here. For that what we have to do is after villas, we have to add as no tracking. That will make sure that when it retrieves the villa using the ID, it does not track this record. If it is not being tracked already, then when we try to update a villa with the same ID, that will work. Let me save that, add a debugging point here. Well, let me restart the application. Let me go to villa again, try to edit, rather than premium. We will add the keyword special there. Press F10. Perfect, it goes inside and it is updating that. Great, this time it works and it did not throw an exception. So always remember the importance of as no tracking and when you get an error where it says the entity is already being tracked, more than likely you are retrieving that and entity framework core is already tracking that entity. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and leave a comment. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that right now. That way you will not miss any future updates from .NET Mastery. Mm -hmm.